One of the little known facts about the Mueller report as originally presented to Attorney General Barr is that it is written entirely in verse. There is a good deal of precedent. The Ken Starr report on President Clinton was written in rhyme couplets and the first draft of the Warren Commission was all limericks because Chief Justice Earl Warren enjoyed rendering his opinions in that form. They've since become common at the Supreme Court, particularly when citing Warren, as in Justice Anthony Kennedy's landmark decision in Lawrence v. Texas. Privacy, our rights, it's the very pulse of. We don't spy on couples convulsive. That's what the court wrote in Griswold, and I quote, the very idea is repulsive. Justice Scalia famously wrote a scathing dissent, uh, not just of the ruling, but critical of Kennedy's loose meter and strained construction. It's hard to disagree, although the case was well decided. All of this explains a lot about Mueller's testimony at the congressional hearings in July of 2019. As expected, he kept his answers short and chose not to explain himself because as Archibald MacLeish observed, a poem should not mean to indict, it should be an indictment. Mueller delivered on that principle. In his opening statement summarizing the report, he simply said, it's six and a half pounds when you weigh it, you can take it to read at the beach. We didn't come right out and say it, but there's plenty of grounds to impeach. In response, the Republicans largely used the hearings as an opportunity to undermine the report's conclusions. Representative Jim Jordan of Ohio was particularly scathing when he said, thanks for nothing, Director Mueller. You've wasted the time of the nation. Two volumes that couldn't be duller and add up to full exoneration. There was a lot of back and forth of that nature. Many people were hoping for shocking revelations as when Texas Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee pressed Mueller for details about the hush money payments that Michael Cohen made on behalf of Donald Trump. Lee, are you familiar with Miss Stormy Daniels? Mueller, we screened some films in which she acted. Lee, and did she claim the president was in one? Mueller, she did, but that scene was redacted. What does it all add up to? Chairman Adam Schiff put it very well in a pithy closing statement published simultaneously in the Congressional Record and the Fall Quarterly of Poetry Digest. Trump asked the Russians to elect him and then pushed hard to obstruct. So if Congress doesn't get off its rectum, this country is royally fucked. I fear for the state of our democracy and we adjourn on a sorrowful note, but faced with McConnell's hypocrisy, you'll just have to get out and vote.